All right, we're going to do a simulation here of uh, weatherproofing installation uh, with an end female and an end male connector uh, connecting LMR 600 to LMR 400. Uh, we're going to start with a roll of two inch electrical tape. And we're, in this simulation, this end here is going to be facing up, whether it go up a tower or just be up on a slight incline. You're going to start with the tape down on the lower end, always on the lower end. It's going to give it a shingling effect so that when the water runs down, it will run over the wraps of tape. I'm going to wrap this first wrap nice and tight to prevent any air bubbles from being in the tape. The reason you're putting this wrap on is in case you ever have to take the weatherproofing off you're going to keep it from the, the actual beetle mastic from sticking to the connector. Okay, and then you're going to you're going to cut off a small piece of the mastic, and that is going to be put right here where the connection is, where there's that little dimple in there. You're not going to want the mastic when you make the wrap around to sink in there any sharper edges like on a bigger connector um, you'd have a much larger area here and it might give it a chance for the uh, the butyl to rip or to stretch out too much so you're just going to stick that right in there and just press it down kind of a nice uniform shape when you get done with this you're going to want this whole thing to look kind of like a football Kind of just give it a nice clean shape there. Then take your roll of mastic. Starting at the bottom, you're going to want to start one inch up from where your tape uh, that you put on there, and you're going to want to go one inch past. So about an inch there. Just wrap it around. Now you can either cut off your excess and not use it, but since there's just that little bit left, it's not going to hurt anything to just wrap it right back around towards the middle. A little bit extra is never going to hurt. And then just press it down. You want to make sure that that butyl is pressed nice and clean, nice and tight around the actual cable. That's where your seal's going to occur, right there. So make sure it's pressed nice and tight around there. Making sure all the air bubbles, any kind of sloppiness that's in it, make it kind of nice, clean shape. Inspectors are going to look for that. They're going to want that nice, clean shape because they're going to know someone actually cared about the job they were doing. Once you got it looking pretty good, grab your tape again. And again, starting at the bottom, because you're going to make three wraps. You're always going to make three wraps, so you're going to start down here at the bottom, going up once, down the second time, finishing up, because you'll get that shingling effect again. Again, start about an inch past your mastic now. Your first wrap is going to be a nice loose wrap, because if you were to pull too tight, the mastic is going to squeeze out through the tape. It's going to give it a real sloppy appearance. So this first wrap of tape is not going to look that nice. But you'll be able to clean that up on the final two wraps. Coming up to the top, again, about an inch past. Press all those little folds and gaps out. Now on this second wrap, you're going to want to start pulling this tape nice and tight. This is going to take all that sloppiness out. This is also going to seal it up real nice. It's going to keep any air pockets out, any inconsistencies in the tape. If the inspectors see any of these little ripples like you see over here, it's not going to work because the water can get in. 
just keep pulling it nice and tight because that electrical tape has stretched to it. This will be real easy up in the tower because you'll have the weight of the cable holding it steady for you. See how it's already starting to look a lot neater. When I come down, I usually come down just a hair past where the tape ended there, just to get one more piece of tape on the cable itself. Now make your final third wrap, going right up. Make sure you keep pulling that as tight as you can. And trust me, the inspectors will notice this. When you're done with your final wrap, you're going to want to cut the tape. Never going to want to just stretch it and uh, break it. You want to unwrap just a little bit and put that last couple of inches on nice and loose. Reason being, if you were to just stretch that and break it within a day or two, that stretch would just pull it right back off and the tape would start unraveling and your ground, or your, uh, your weatherproofing kit wouldn't be any good. And that's what it looks like when it's done. You can see that nice clean football shape there. And that's it.